Hello, Scatterbunchers. It's time for a new overclock. In this video, we'll have a look at the Core i7-7700 KB Lake processor from Intel. We'll overclock the CPU, the memory, the integrated graphics, everything at once, and maybe have some special magic trick to get extra megahertz out of your system. Along with the Intel Core i7-7700K, we have an Asus overclocking motherboard, the Maximus 9 Apex, a dual-channel 16GB G-Skill Trident Z memory kit, and a Cooler Master single fan AIO cooler. The total cost of this system is about 850 US dollars. We'll link the hardware in the description below. We'll break up the overclocking process in four different steps. First, we'll overclock the CPU, then the memory, then the integrated graphics, and to sum it all up, we'll apply all the overclocks at once to have a full system overclock. To do the overclocking, we'll be using four different tools. First, for the actual overclocking, we'll be going into the motherboard BIOS to adjust all the settings, and then in the operating system, we'll be using four benchmarks. Intel XTU, HWBOT X265 1080p encoding, Geekbench 4 single and multi-core, and 3Mark Skydiver. You can find all the benchmark and tools in the description below. To manually tune the memory, we go into the BIOS and leave AI Overclock Tuner to Auto. Then, we scroll down to DRAM frequency and set it to DDR4 4000 MHz. Under the section DRAM Timing Control, we adjust DRAM CAS Latency to 16, RAS to CAS Delay to 16, RAS to Active Time to 32. We exit the menu, go down to DRAM Voltage and increase it to 1.5 voltage. Then, press F10 and save the settings. So we're in the operating system after our overclock. Now, let's look at the performance figures. In XTU, we have a performance increase of 8%. In both H.265 1080p encoding and Geekbench 4 single core, we have a performance increase of 6%. In Geekbench 4 multi core, we have a performance increase of 12%. In 3Mark Skydiver, we have a performance increase of 5%. This concludes our overclocking adventure with our very first KB Lake system. Be sure to subscribe if you like this kind of tutorial content. Drop a message below if you have any questions or any problems overclocking your own Cable Lake system. I also want to urge you to check out our magic trick videos that will give you another 200 megahertz on your CPU. Thanks for watching and until the next time.